Hey, what's going on everyone? Dominic, the primetime treasure hunter here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could save and make a significant amount of money uh, each year through a secret program uh, that eBay has that I call secret because I mean, not literally secret, but there's just so many people that don't know about this program. I mentioned it the other day in my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center, and the vast majority of people had never even heard of it before, and there were tons of questions about it, and so I decided to make this video. I'm going to take you through step-by-step uh, -step how you could use the program for yourself. I'm going to show you how I've used it uh, for myself, uh, brought in over 2,000 additional uh, dollars last year uh, by using the program. And I'm not promising the same exact success because it's going to depend on how you use uh, social media and email and different ways to get your uh, links out there, both to your own products and products of uh, other people or other businesses that you're trying to promote because this is all uh, based on an affiliate marketing program known as EPN or eBay's Partnership Network. And I'm going to share my screen in a moment to show you some different examples. Uh, before I do that, I want to make it very clear that this video is not sponsored in any way by eBay uh, or the eBay Partnership Network. Uh, they have no idea I'm making this video. Uh, I'm not making any money uh, off of making this video through any kind of promotion from them or anything uh, like that. So uh, there's nothing I'm getting paid for to try to get you to sign up for something. Uh, nothing like that uh, for uh, the eBay Partnership Network. So with that, let me share this screen uh, for you and I'll take you uh, into the program here. This is the uh, the main page actually. Uh, and you can see here it says, why partner with eBay? And I thought it was interesting just to go over in general, even if you're not interested in affiliate marketing at all, it does have some interesting statistics here on the page, uh, which is number one, did you know that 80% of all merchandise sold on eBay is new? And 90% of the items sold are buy it now compared to auction. Now, that would also include, by the way, under the buy it now, would include uh, best offers that are accepted. But, you know, a, a minority of people use the auction. So that is interesting. Uh, 1.4 billion listings present at one time, which is really important if you want to use affiliate marketing because you want to really have a diversity of uh, merchandise to be able to pull from so that you could uh, promote it. You also want to make sure that you have a lot of uh, buyers. And as you can see there, uh, 183 million buyers span 190 markets worldwide. Now, that's why I wanted to say in advance that this isn't something that eBay paid me to do because it sounds like uh, when I'm saying these things that, uh, you know, like it's a sales pitch or something. But really, uh, I just want to make sure that people are aware of this because, you know, it's brought in some nice money for me and it could bring in some nice money for you. And, and also, you know, save you some money uh, too. So 63% uh, of transactions, by the way, touch mobile. So you want to make sure that your uh, listings on eBay uh, present well on mobile devices. So that is important. 72% uh, of items ship for free. So free shipping, as I've said before, that's a model a lot of people uh, look for. And eBay's adding more and more luxury type of items with the eBay uh, authenticate like watches, for example, that go over a certain amount. Um, that's all presented to people just to uh, make you understand that uh, there's there's a, uh, something that they're putting in there for uh, buyers to be confident about the purchases that they're making. Now, you could use this program in one of two ways. Okay. The first way is by promoting your own items that you list. And if you do that and the item sells within 24 hours of somebody clicking on the link to your product, guess what? No final value fees that you have to pay. And that could really be significant depending on how many of those you get you know, per month or per year where someone clicked on one of your links. Now, I know your question is, well, where do I share the links? Where do I put that link? I'm going to get to that a little bit later. So that's that's number one. That's the first way to use it. 
The other way to use it besides wiping out your final value fee is to promote something that somebody else is selling. And if you do that, you're eligible to earn a commission. Now, they recently lowered the commission rates, but um, you know there's still some money to be made here. So if you look here, this is the rate card. And the rate card is going to tell you what percentage you will make depending on what type of item you have linked to. So the highest would be clothing, shoes, and accessories, health and beauty, jewelry, and watches. So a lot of you who are watching this, um, you know, have knowledge in those areas and, you know, you might have a social media platform, for example, where you might be able to share some of these links. And if something sells through a link like that, well, guess what? You could get 4% uh, of that of that sale. So let's just take an extreme uh, example. Let's say that, you know, you knew someone who was really into buying high-end shoes, high-end boots. I've talked before about Christian Louboutin. And let's say that, you know, somebody studies cheetah print or leopard knee-high boots uh, for $1,000 and purchased it. Well, guess what? If they purchased it through your link within 24 hours, well, you just made 40 bucks on that sale. Now, there's, you know, as with any program, you have to read the fine print. There's always like little exceptions, certain things where you won't get a commission on, for example, uh, one example of things you won't get a commission on is if you link to eBay's uh, shipping store, like their boxes and their you know, bubble mailers, you won't get a commission off of that. You won't get a commission off of gift cards. So you've got to read the fine print. But for most of the categories and for most of the items, uh, you should be able to uh, make a link to it where you could get some commission. Uh, you know, some of them are, are, you know, are lower than others, like electronics, computers, tablets, and, and networking is only one and a half percent. Uh, collectibles is 3%, you know, which isn't bad. So, you know, it, um, you know, it's going to be a volume based thing for when you're promoting something from somebody else. Now, let me take you through an example of how this would work. So this is something that I just put up, uh, last night. So these are, remember the California raisins. So these are two California raisins. We've got one playing the saxophone here. We've got, uh, one playing a guitar. And let's say that I want to put that link somewhere, such as in my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. If you're not a member of it, by the way, uh, you should join because I do allow people to share their eBay affiliate link. So if one of your items sells in my Facebook group, which has over 23 and a half thousand members in there. People are making purchases all the time of other people's items because we have that type of culture that's developed there. Well, if they buy it through your link, you don't have to pay a final value fee. So that is allowed uh, in my uh, in my in my page, in my Facebook group. So um, what you would want to do here, is, there's two ways. I'm going to show you a longer way and then I'm going to show you a really super short way. But let me just show you the longer way. So what you would do is you would highlight the link up here. And a lot of times people will tell me, I don't know where to find the link to my item. It's right up here. All you have to do is copy it and select it. And then we're going to go into the eBay Partner Network page. And this is something you're going to have once you're actually signed up for the actual account. So I'm in my own accounts page. Now, it's linked through eBay in the sense that your username and your password on eBay will be the same username and password that you use for the eBay partnership network. So uh, you just have to fill out a little application and you should get a response again in a few hours or so uh, letting you know that you're approved. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a campaign. And so you can see here it says select the campaign. Now, I already have some that are already set up, but if you wanted to make a completely new campaign, let me explain what a campaign is. A campaign is like um, a way in which you could classify the type of promotion you're going to put out there. So let's say we wanted a campaign that was just for figures and because those are figurines. Okay. All you do, uh, you saw, I just clicked on campaigns there. We're going to click on new campaign and we're just going to call it figures. Okay, and then you could describe it however you want. You know, we'll just type in figures I sell on eBay, whatever. Just you could do whatever you want with it and create it. And now it's going to be available to you. Ignore that server error thing. Sometimes that that comes up. So now we're going to go back here. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna now select the campaign and there we go, we've got figures right there, okay? And so I'm just gonna put the eBay address right there. Now, if you wanna give it a custom ID, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, you wanna put all figures labeled as a two, you could do that if you want to. I never do that, there's not really a need. So then what you do is you click generate link. And what it does here is now it makes you your own link. Now this link is really big and I don't like sharing really big links uh, on social media. So what I do is I shorten the link by clicking this button right there. And now I have a nice, simple, short link. I just copy it and I could go and paste it on my Facebook page. You could post it on Pinterest. If you have a website that you developed, you could put it within your website. There's lots of tools to be able to do that. Keep in mind, I'm just scratching the surface here. There's so much that you could do with the eBay partnership uh, network. Uh, you could also uh, put it on uh, blogs, for example, uh, other types of social media. And you do have to apply for this next part, but if you want to send out uh, links through email or through um, different types of like instant messaging systems and stuff. Uh, you could apply to be able to do that and they'll just give you permission once you just explain what it is. If you want to send them out through text, you could do that as well. So uh, that's how you get your link. Now that's a longer way to get it. You could get it a shorter way. And the way you're going to do that is by, um, you're going to install an extension onto your browser. Now this is done through Google Chrome. So you want to use the Google Chrome browser. And for those of you who don't know, you could get all sorts of different extensions for it. Uh, these are basically options to add on to it. And what you want to look for is the one called Smart Share from eBay. So you could see here, I just went to the Chrome Web Store. That's all you have to type in on Google, Chrome Web Store. It'll bring it up. You type this in and it'll bring up, bring up the Smart Share from eBay. Uh, extension. And so you're just going to install it. And as soon as you install it, what's going to happen is you're going to see this little symbol show up right here on your browser. And then when you open things within eBay, you're going to see that there. So let's go back to the California raisins and check this out. Now, instead of having to type all that stuff in, all I need to do is click this right here and it just brings me a personalized link and I could just copy it. Now, the only problem is it's a long link. It's not a short link. So what you could do here is just go to a link shortening program like Bitly. That's the one that I use. It uh, doesn't cost anything. It's free. And I just hit create. And then I just paste it right into here. And now I've got my own custom link that's nice and short that I could use. One of the questions that I get sometimes is, if you use the link shortener, like from, from Bitly, will it still retain your information so that you could get the commission or the, the, the money saved from the final value fee? And the answer to that is yes. I know because I've been doing it for a long time and it definitely works and retains the information. Because basically what happens is that the eBay partnership is going to track you based on that link. That link is, that short link is just simply converted to a longer link uh, later on down the road. So that is how uh, you could you could use it. Now, another thing, if we go back over here, let me click this uh, again. I'm going to go over here. And you can see here it says share on social or share on uh, Pinterest. So for me, if I wanted to share it on my personal Facebook page, for example, and like let people know, hey, I've got this available, or in my Facebook group, I could just click on the Facebook link down there and it will automatically open it up and, uh, you know, the Facebook page. So I could just post it within there. Now, uh, you could also do it on Pinterest. I know some people who watch this channel have Pinterest pages in which you have your items displayed for other people to check out or items from others. Uh, Jesse Shops, for example, has one. Mary McQueen uh, has one as well. So I wanna give them a nice uh, shout out here. So let me just show you an example of this. Now I have a Pinterest page for my medical uh, business, my medical website, but I don't have one for, um, you know, for my primetime treasure uh, eBay business, although it's something I've been, you know, thinking of doing and having on the back burner. But so I'm just going to show you this as an example. This is from, I'm just putting this onto my medical site, but this is my, my Pinterest medical site just to show you how it would work. So I clicked that button that said Pinterest 
And all you got to do is you just, you could create categories within Pinterest. So you could see here for my medical one, I have things like breaking medical news, case presentations, stuff like that. But before I made this video, I just made one for figures. And so I just click that. And so it's saved to figures and just say, see it now. So I could just go over there and you could see here within Pinterest, it has my item there. And then I could just click it and it brings me right to the page. If I want to go to my Pinterest page itself, and let me refresh the screen here, I'll reload it. And so it should show my pins. So let's say see all pins. So we'll go there. So we could, there it is. So there's my most recent one. So, you know, Pinterest is a visual site. So if people are coming by, they're looking at it and say, oh my God, I remember the California raisins. Those are so cool. And then they click on it just like, just like this, sorry. And then there's the link, this is free to use. And then someone just clicks on it. And if they make a purchase, there you go. You don't have to pay the final value fee. Now, uh, if someone is shopping and comparing your item versus other people and they clicked different, um, you know, California raisins that they were looking at, for example, um, they, it, you'll still get the final value fee as long as they purchased your thing within 24 hours. So that's the basics of, uh, of how it works. So now there's so many other ways you could use it. Again, I'm just scratching the surface here, but if you look here in terms of um, different uh, types of things that you could promote through the program, um, think big. So for example, you could go to eBay's category page, their product page. You could link to a search result page, a brand page, a deals page. Let's go, for example, to daily deals. Let's say you have a growing um, you know, Facebook page or you have a growing uh, Instagram account uh, and you have a lot of followers there and you want to promote some sort of feature deal of the day. Well, uh, let's say you want to promote that there's 74% off of this skull candy. Well, all you got to do is click it right here and then go like that. And this is going to, we'll just copy the link here and I'll just show you. I'll open up another tab and I'll paste it here. And that's going to bring me right to that deal, 74% off. And if you make that sale by linking to it, again, you're going to get a commission off of that. Uh, I'll show you that in a moment. That's reports. Let me go back to here. There's promotional events that you could link to. eBay runs those you know, every once in a while. Or you go to the brand page. Now, even if you're not interested in affiliate marketing, this is just useful to have anyway. Just look through the brand page and you could see all the brands uh, that are classified on eBay. I mean, that's just the letter A. This is a great place to go to get familiarity with brands, to research brands that you might not be familiar with, get to learn different clothing lines, electronic lines, toy lines. There's so many things you could do with it. But let's take a line that uh, everyone is familiar with. Let's go and see if we could find, well, I was trying to find Barbie. Let's see. Barbie might be down here with the lower, here she is. Here's Barbie. So we'll click on Barbie and you can see her. It's going to bring me to all these Barbie dolls. Really cool. Hey, Ken, what are you doing there? Ken, put some clothes on Barbie. Barbie. I mean, look at that. Barbie and Ken are going to get me in trouble. <laughs> it's supposed to be a family friendly show. Oh my goodness. Look at all. I got to click out of this really quickly. Oh my God. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> anyway. All right. So there's a Barbie with some clothes on here. I'm not going to hit the back button on this one. <laughs> oh, you never know what's going to happen on this channel, but here you go. You could either select the link if you want to. I'm like redder than a fire hydrant right now. Uh, or you could go right here and just click it. And then we'll just hit copy link. We'll bring it over here and we'll just paste it. And there you go. It's available to you. And like I said, you could shorten the link if you want as well. So just explore it. There's so many different options, uh, ways that you could use it. Uh, there's ways in which you could go to what's called the creative gallery. And you could click on these different uh, sections within eBay, all these different categories, collectibles, fashion, home and garden, uh, sporting goods, tech, whatever you want. Let me go to collectibles, for example. You know, you click that 
and you open it up. And what this is going to do, this is good for people who run websites and blogs. It's going to show up small here, but here, let me maybe try to make it a little bit bigger for you. But it's going to give you JPEG uh, images that you could just use. And I know it looks small here, but you could just use these to put them on your website and then attach a link to it. Like there's a nice banner ad. They're basically ads, banner ads, and you incorporate it. Uh, into your site, uh, attach a link to it, like one of the ones I showed you earlier. And, um, you know, people click on it, then again, you make a, you can make a commission off of it. So that's another thing uh, that you could do. Now, in terms of um, reports, it does give you uh, reports and, and you just click on reports and there's all different types of reports that you could look at. You could look at your performance by day, performance by category, performance by month, performance by campaign, uh, and all sorts of things, performance by top selling items. It all depends on how you want to use it. Now, let me take you into some of uh, my numbers here. So if we look at my reports, you could see here that uh, these are different days. So right here, you could see there were 15 transactions on December 2nd. And this is primarily through my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. I'll explain how I use it there in just a moment. Uh, here we got 44 transactions on December 6th. Let's go over here. Wednesday, December 16th, we've got 54 transactions. But let's go over here. Tuesday, December 29th, 2020, I had 97 transactions. Well, what did that work out for me in terms of uh, commission? Uh, you could see down here for December 29th, there were $873.82 sales, which gave me a commission of $29.08. What happened in my Facebook group on December uh, 29th? Well, we had this uh, sellers supporting seller thon in my group. And what I do there is uh, I start off by linking to a bunch of different sellers stores uh, who are in my Facebook group based on something that they did. So for example, if they purchased from someone uh, from a prior support that seller Sunday event, there was a promotion I had going on where I then would put your name and your store uh, to start off for people to make purchases from. And so um, those links, each one of those links are, uh, eBay uh, partnership network links. So any purchases that go through there that qualify, then I could get a commission off of that. So that's how that uh, works. I also do that for the support that seller Sunday event. Uh, and by the way, it's important to note that you do have to make sure you're letting people know that these are um, affiliate links. So you have to put the pound sign um, ad, and this is if you run a site. If you're if you're posting within my Facebook group, uh, you could just put the link in there because I've already told people on my site to let them know that if they're clicking on links on my Facebook group, that it could result in uh, an affiliate commission to whoever posted that uh, link. So, uh, and, and that's what I have to do. I have to let people know that. So I have to put that language in. So if you go on my group, you'll be able to tell which events these links are qualify for. And if you're in my group, the links uh, can only be shared during uh, authorized events that I put in the announcement section. You can't just come into the group and start dropping links. That's a big no-no. But you could put the links within structured events. Another example is I have a daily theme post. Uh, so, um, you know, you could, let's say it was fun Friday for today, you know, and this is a theme where if you have anything that is you know, you could associate as related to something fun, you could put one of your links in there. We do this every day except Sunday, which is support that seller Sunday. And if your item sells from that link, which does happen pretty much every day to somebody, well, you again, just save yourself on final value fees. So um, you could see here that, um, you know, depending on the day, you know, there's different amounts of money made like this day, December 31st, I only made 80 cents, you know, in the group, but another day, 29, another day, uh, 671. So let's go back to reports. Uh, let's go to transaction detail and let's see perform. Let's go to the prior month, maybe last month. And that will give you maybe more of a, a better sense of, I just have to hit apply. Um, you know, it's cause it might not look like, and, and I'll go back to this in, in just a second here. Hold on. We're going to, I think it's going to take a moment to come up, but if we go over here, you will see, where is it here? Hold on. 
Um, I clicked off of it. Oh, let me here. Yeah, let me go up here. So here you'll you could see by individual day, like right here on this day, um, there was 175 clicks, for example, that occurred. But over here there were you know, 116 clicks. So, you know, some days you're going to make just less money than others, as I just showed you, but it does add up as time does go by. Uh, if we go over here, uh, you could see, let's go and see if I can, I'm trying to show you the actual money that came in. That's transaction, uh, detail, event date, status. Uh, it's not showing it here. But um, let's see if we could do historical payments. I'm going to show you there. The payment history. Um, December 25th. Let's try to do last month. If we could do bring up payment history. Um, basically, last year through this program, and I'm having a hard time bringing it up right now, but last year through this program, I wound up bringing in uh, a little bit over $2,000 for the entire year. Now, I know that that is, you know, largely because I run a big Facebook group with um, over 23,000 members in it, but it didn't always start off that way. You know, when I first started using it, um, you know, it was, you know, less than a few hundred dollars a year uh, that came in with it. Let me see if I could bring it up, maybe... Over here, I'll try one more time. Sale amount. Uh, let's see. Last month, Let's see if I could bring it up here. Try again. Well, here you could see. This is to show you one thing. Payouts for last month was two hundred thirty-seven dollars. So that gives you a sense. So multiply that out. You know, give or take. Some months it's a hundred dollars. Some months it's it's two hundred dollars. But uh, overall, like I said, last year uh, slightly over uh, two thousand dollars for two thousand and twenty. Now, does that make you rich necessarily? No, of course not. Could I guarantee you're going to make thousands of dollars or even hundreds of dollars? No. But even if you save $50 worth of final value fees or $100 worth of final value fees or a few people clicked on some links, every little thing counts and you want to try to diversify your income sources. So that's the really the main point that I want to show you. Uh, when I first started things like the Sellerthon and Support That Seller Sunday, originally I wasn't even using eBay affiliate links for those things. I was just putting them in there and, you know, people were making, you know, sales through it. And then I just figured, you know what, people are clicking on the link anyway, so I might as well just turn it into an affiliate link. And so that's how you have to think about it. You know, if, if you're already dropping links, you're already suggesting things, why not turn into affiliate link? Uh, Courtney, for example, from the Bolo Buddies uh, Facebook group, and she has a YouTube channel as well. Uh, she posts beyond the lookout items within her um, Facebook page. And those beyond the lookout items, while they are educational, they are also ones that are uh, sometimes affiliate links. And so, and she'll say that as an affiliate link, I could get a commission if someone purchased off of that. So it's not just me, for example, who's using this in the reselling community. You could, you know, be creative in terms of how you want to use it on your own site that you develop. And this is just to show you here, by the way, that, you know, there's, there's other things, there's other special types of programs that you could apply for and you could get in. Now, the last thing that I want to uh, mention here, or one of the main last things I want to tell you is that, you know, I know I'm talking about putting these things in a Pinterest page and putting these things in a Facebook group and, you know, or sharing them on some social media site, or maybe send, getting permission to send them out through emails and doing some email marketing and stuff. And you're, might be sitting there and thinking to me, I'm too old. This stuff is just, too, you know, too far for me. I, I never learned about anything with computers. I didn't know any of this stuff. This just doesn't seem like it's for me. Maybe it's not for you, but before you make that conclusion, give yourself a little bit more credit. There's a lot of things that you could do. I want to just inspire you here for a second. When I first met Mrs. Primetime. I never told anyone this story before, but when I first met her in 1997, 98, believe it or not, I did not know how to use Microsoft Word. I never used it before. I didn't know how to use any of the office programs. So she started teaching me how to use it. And then I just started to get fascinated with it and just immersed myself in it and, you know, learned how to use it, learned to use 
um, a PowerPoint and other programs. Then one day I was driving in a car with a friend and a friend was telling me that his wife had created a website about, you know, related to psychology. And I said, how did she know how to create a website? This is before the days where they really had like website creation programs and stuff. And she said, she just picked up a book about HTML, which is computer language. And she just taught it to herself. So I said, well, if she could do it, I could do it. And so I created my own website, as you see here, originally from scratch. I mean, the whole, and it always has really looked like this. Now, over time, I did get a program that, that helps me make things more automated. But the original version of it, which is still what this core structure looks like, was all done from scratch. And this is, you know, years after I had just learned, because I've had this site since 2001. In 1998, I didn't even know how to use Microsoft Word. I never created a blog before, but here I have a blog. I have a medical blog. And, um, you know, it's just related to healthcare related stuff. And people pay me to put advertisements on there as they do pay to have advertisements on here, like you could see up there. So it's another form of affiliate marketing. My point is that I didn't know how to do this stuff before, but if you put your mind to it, you could do it. You don't have to be a genius or anything like that. Uh, you really just have to put your mind to it uh, to be able to do it. I didn't know how to do YouTube before. I never ran a Facebook group before, before years ago. All this stuff is brand new to me, but you just have to dive in and you just have to start something. And don't not start something because there's someone else out there that is doing it on a much bigger scale. So for example, you know, I just had Casey on the, uh, the other day for live show. Now at the time I started my Facebook group, he had, you know, I don't know, 50, 60,000 people in his group. And I could have easily just said, well, why start mine? Because he has one that's really big and no one's going to want to come to it. You can't think that way. You can't think, well, you know, Craigslist Hunter has over a hundred thousand, you know, subscribers on his channel. So no one's going to want to watch mine. I'm going to start from zero can't think that way. If I would have thought that way, I never would have got off the ground. So use this as inspiration to get yourself off the ground. And if you're not doing anything social media related, you know, definitely you know, think of doing that. So oh, this was something I was helping someone else out with for. Uh, last thing regarding links, and I'm going to show this right here. This is um, the Restored with Love uh uh, eBay store. This is not my store. This is Heather Ironman's store. Heather is a member of the YouTube channel here. And I put in a new perk today, which is that anybody who becomes a member of the channel, I am going to share a link to your eBay store uh, in the description section and in the comments. So Heather has uh, over 800 and uh, she has over 800 items. So 842 to be exact. Uh, lots of cool things it looks like in her store. I've browsed through it before. So take a browse through it. It's just a way I want to support people uh, who are members. This is available to all members. All you have to do is uh, send me an email uh, and let me know in the subject title. Just say, you know, YouTube link or something along those lines and send me your link if you're a member and I will get you in here. I can't always promise I'm going to do a screen share like this because I can't always do that. But uh, I definitely will put uh, links to them. Uh, in the comments and in the description. So folks, uh, that is it. That is the rundown. And I hope that that gives you some inspiration going forwards. And um, you can make some money and save some money. Save money is made money. That's the way I look at it. And um, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sure there will be some questions. There is an FAQ uh, on their page, but I will try to answer questions uh, as they come in. So um, that's it, everyone. I'll see you at the next video. Take care.